you can just settle down, we can get started. Yes, you, you in the back. Can you, can you please sit down? Thank you very much. All your questions will be answered as soon as we can get to the morning. Okay, all right, let's get started. My name is Tom, and I'll be your guide during this day here at the Waiting Zone. Now, I see a lot of new faces here today, and I'm sure you have many questions. Let's start with the two biggest questions, shall we? These questions are, what am I doing here, and who am I? These are not easy questions, but let's try to tackle them anyway, okay? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this is what we like to call the waiting zone. And here is where you basically wait. Now, I know that sounds a bit confusing and doesn't answer your questions, but bear with me, and I'll try to explain further. Throughout our lives, we have many hopes and dreams. These hopes and dreams can be many things. For instance, one can hope to be a grade A writer, or someone can hope that their relationship will last forever. We're not here to discuss everyone's wishes for the future, just accept that every one of you are here for a reason. Now, more often than it should be, these dreams get shattered into a thousand little pieces. They get torn away from us, leaving us feeling empty and broken. This is tragic, but such is life. When this happens, a part of us that could be known as the soul gets very badly damaged. So damaged, in fact, that it can no longer hold on to the body. So it gets launched away from the physical being and knocked right off the physical world. The soul then travels here, which is what you are. You are lost souls, beaten for whatever reason and left to wait. So here's where you wait until your physical being can rebuild his or her self-confidence and try to grab onto a new dream. That is the only way you can get out of here. It's not like there are any walls to climb or any escape routes to take. There's just no other place to go. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that. Everything is completely up to your physical counterpart, and there's no way you can contact that being. You can, however, Watch what your other self is always doing. We have monitors all over the place that allows you to do this, just like watching TV. When we are finished with this orientation, you can come up to me or any other spirit guides, and we'll be more than happy to show you how you can do this. You can tell which one of us is a spirit guide by the orange shirts that we wear. There's no way of really determining how long you're going to be with them. It could be a couple of days. It could be a great many years. It all depends on how bad your heart has taken a beating and how long it takes to heal. So the longer your physical being decides to stay in his or her depressive state, the longer time you will be here with us. I don't mean to discourage any of you, but I just want to make sure you know all the facts. There are times that the heart has been so broken that it never fully healed. In these cases, your physical counterpart becomes bitter and a cold human being never fully believing in themselves again, or never opening their minds or hearts to new dreams or experiences. These people never find true happiness. They never feel the full power or take advantage of all that life has to offer them. Their hearts just become like stone, never again knowing the happiness that it could produce. In these cases, they can never be whole again. And here's where you wait until the body gives out. Again, not to discourage anyone, but this is a bad situation. For if the body is not whole with the soul at the time of departure, then you can never enter the gates of heaven. Instead, the soul will drift into what some religions call purgatory. It will remain alone for all eternity. No one to love and no one to talk to ever again. I don't mean to put a damper on anyone, but as I said, I must give it to you straight. It is important to always keep all hopes alive. Now, this is not the first time here for a lot of you, though you may not remember it. It'll come back to you. All your memories of this place are erased from your mind when you fly back to your physical home. Therefore, you do not remember who you are at this moment. Once we're finished here, one of the spirit guides will take you to a monitor and show you why you are here. At that point, you'll remember all events that led you to come in here, and any past events where you were here before, but nothing much else. Just know that this place is not a life lesson, it's just a waiting place.
It is possible for you to feel happiness or sadness, whichever one you wish. You can make friends and lovers here, but they will fade from your mind once you leave, but not completely. It is here where the term deja vu and souls are defined. You can have some sort of conversation here and vaguely remember it when you're back at the physical world. If you ever felt love at first sight, then chances are that you met and have become lovers with someone here. If you'd like more details about how this works, please join one of our many philosophy discussions. There is one thing I must mention. The same rule applies as before. You must not give up hope. I wish I didn't have to discuss this. But again, we must alert you to all possible outcomes. Currently, there is an action that happens all too often. It also happens to be the worst case scenario. This is something you should be prepared for, but hope and pray it does not happen. There are times the heart takes so much damage that hopelessness forms deep within them and takes the place of the soul. When this happens, things can get ugly real fast. If the hopelessness keeps growing out of despair, then there have been times that the physical counterpart takes the most foolish road, the road that makes them decide to take away God's greatest gift. Yes, they commit suicide. If this happens, the soul literally gets torn apart at the seams. The soul is forced out of existence into a new realm. Most people would call this realm hell. There, the soul will go through the worst tortures ever, forever. It will never know anything but pain and horror. When the soul gets pulled into this reality, it is not an easy thing to watch. It can give you nightmares for the rest of your natural born life. If you see this happen to someone, you should do yourself a favor and just turn away. There's nothing you can do to save that soul. Their fate has been written by the physical counterpart. The closer you are to that person, the harder it is. Believe me, I've been at this job a great many years, and it never gets any easier. Just turn and walk away is all the advice I can give you. Let's hope that we have a few of these as possible during your stay. Now, if you follow the spirits in the orange shirts, they will take you to one of our many monitors. Here you will learn how to use them and find out who you are and why you are here. You may use them any time you wish, but I suggest you don't. Try to make the best of your time here, and get out there and meet people. You may have to spend a lot of time here, so might as well enjoy yourself. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any of the spirit guides, and we will help you the best that we can. Enjoy your stay here at the Waiting Zone. Thank you for your time.